definitely want to wear your stretchy pants today, friends. <laughs> it's the Taste of DC, and this year's food festival is being held at RFK Stadium. Yeah, prepping yourself for Thanksgiving, I would say. <laughs> All right, but that's not the only change. WC9's Sarah Consmo is live in Southeast DC with what folks can expect at today's event. Sarah, how many dishes have you already tasted this morning? So far, not anything, but I look forward to tasting lots later. Right now, we're down in front of RFK Stadium. It's the new venue of this year's uh, Taste of DC. With me is the organizer. Um, tell me, what is going to be new this year? Hi, good morning. So this year, uh, we're obviously here at RFK, which is great. We've got 75 of the area's best restaurants. And uh, this year, you can check out our tasteless wristband, or our cashless wristband. So that allows you to go around the event, buy what you buy your food, buy your beverage, all just with the tap of the wristband. And how much food is here? How much beer and wine and what can people expect? More than you can eat. So we have, uh, again, we've got over 75 restaurants. We've got 100 different food-esque exhibitors as well and vendors in this huge artisan market that's popping up right behind you. So there's no shortage of food. And then we've got beverage stations throughout featuring local beverages and then obviously your favorite beers and wines. Anything special to look out for this year, do you think? I would, so what I'm excited for is Taste It Dark. So tonight from 7 to 10, Taste of DC transforms into kind of more of a food party. And uh, we'll have awesome food vendors, great beverages here uh, right next, right at the main stage. Perfect. And why is this so important to the city? Well, we're one of the best food cities in the country now, which was not often our reputation in the past. And it's because of events like Taste of D.C. that people get to really experience what Washington is about these days. It's one of the number one foodie cities in the world, quite frankly. So we're excited to partner with Taste of D.C. and have them here at historic RFK Stadium. Thank you. That's uh, Eric Moses and Stuart Martins joining me down here live at RFK Stadium for Taste of D.C. Now, tickets today are sold out, but there are still some available for tomorrow. Not bad, but you know, I'm, I'm curious with, with the wristband and a couple of drinks, things can get really pricey if you're just going like this all day. <laughs> all right, Sarah. But, but worth it. Yeah, well worth it indeed. Sarah, good to see you. We will check back in with you in our next half hour. All right.